The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour on this 18th day of April. And I thought for my update, my new update, my charts were showing, everything looked like it was just working fine. Nothing, nothing. So now they're up and they're looking good. Let me show you something here in the Chapman Wave methodology. Let me quickly move this chart from here to here. So we always talk about the H pattern and the, the the arch and the cup but within that sometimes there's a pullback that makes a rounding a rounding uh formation retests the low and what happens at the low is very important if it breaks under it that's why it's in red very negative on the upside there's the, the inverse the, the reverse y is upside down and you can see that if you break to the upside it has the exact same effect except in mirror image ha ha I'm going to show you a ton of things today. Technical Friday, Thursday, of course, because we're closed tomorrow. You see this pattern right here? There's the reverse Y, Dow. Retest 26,241, the high of the 25th of February. Pop, goes above it, goes to a peak, E with a little doji candle, pulls back. And I have to think that this is really more likely a G slash C in an alternate Chapman wave formation with the second cup because the cup and handle but moving into a rising trend line. This is a Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. See the pink line, see the green line, this is the Dow, and it's trying its best to break out. From the MACD and stochastic holding like this, I would not be surprised if we actually go into early next week before we actually start some kind of a short-term top. Look at the weekly, how strong that is. For subscribers to my opening call, we have, can't believe we've got it, eight positions um not one short position however what is important is that i did set the stage today that if certain things happened in certain sectors we would start short positions so far we're not even close in one of them we got a little bit close in the other uh for the other i don't mind actually getting that position for one of them i don't i'm pleased that so far we haven't because the way the market has been reacting especially since there was the news, uh, there was the um, report, bar report this morning, uh, and the, the uh, statements that were made, I didn't hear them, but my suspicion is I'm looking at the charts and the charts are saying right now, hey, we've got a lot of other things to worry about, we're done with that. So this is a very important V-shaped pattern in the weekly chart, very important in the monthly chart. I'm gonna to suggest to you just looking out, if you want things to think about over the weekend, I will be sending out charts tomorrow's Friday. I'm hoping that by tonight, by tomorrow morning, I'm able to send out a bunch of charts ready for my Monday call. That's what I usually do over the weekend. There's some really important charts that need to get out. Let's go right in. We've got the Dow up 106 now, testing that resistance. There's only a leg C so far in the 120-minute chart. That's why I said if we were actually moving up, that's very positive. But be prepared. If we're moving down, then other things can happen. S&P is a little different today. The Dow is up 0.41%. The S&P is up 14.14%. It's struggling. And this is the 500 stocks. And I'll show you a reason why I think this is happening. Uh, let's just see that this is a, so far, I'll expand this so you can see that the daily chart, it's making a V-shaped pattern. Uh, it's, a, it's actually a megaphone pattern like that. There are a lot of connotations with this one. My feeling usually is that what I want you to do is I want you to then draw an oval pattern. The implication is, yeah, are you thinking uh, Chapman Wave stalk egg formation? And the answer is, uh, after you've just had this Chapman Wave instant restart, A, B, maybe C, we could go to a D. I'm suspecting that we're actually getting to a topping formation. This is really a large arch. Let me draw it in so you can see what I'm looking at because this is one of those things where if you're wrong, you'll know pretty quickly and you don't have to take a position until you feel comfortable. And that's the position that I could could well see uh, unfold. But very nice because there's a chance of a doji 
peak C, if there's a lower high all of next week, if next week, throughout the entire week, we cannot break above 2918.00. If we hit it once, you've continued leg C. If you go above it, you've continued leg C. If you don't go within one penny of breaking that, uh, then you are looking at some kind of a peak here. So QQQ, let me just do this. The QQQ is exactly the same situation, except here yeah, the MACD and Stochastic are still very strong. There's just enough room left to maybe have another little bit of a bounce. But that weekly chart says, you know what, all-time high V-shaped formation, what happens in the next, let's talk, call it two, it's, it's manifested in two ways. One is it's either time that we go to the 188, 189 level, but over a period of three weeks, you're really trading between 189-ish and 184-ish, just a sideways consolidation. Or we have to break decisively up into the one, uh, one the QQQ is 187.14 now. We have to go into the 190.30 area, and that'll be extremely positive. Um, IWM, I'm not going to take too much time here. IWM, IWM is lagging in the daily. It's lagging in the weekly. Monthly is holding okay. Uh, it just better hold 154 because if it goes underneath that, that's a problem. I suspect 156 is, is going to be uh, some kind of uh, resistance. It's at 155.90 right now, down 20 cents. I do want to get to this. Look, gold uh, down a dollar and a half. No big deal, except look what's happened. It's just come red, 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 red every day this week since uh, last week started the big red candle to the downside. And we're getting into this very important up trend Chapman Wave inside track support containment area. If there's a close by Friday, a week from tomorrow, underneath 1265, that's going to imply three things. Number one, it's going to give the dollar room, regardless of what rates are doing. It's going to give the dollar room, which is at 97.39, to finally get into the 97.72 or higher level to start a new leg up in the weekly and the monthly. To me, that'll be. Proof pudding, proof pudding, a reproof of um, what I've been talking about for a long time, that the dollar is a recognition of the United States economy being strong. I, I mean, I'm making it as simple as possible. Um, so that's number one. Number two is that the EUR, USD, the euro, is still... And the weekly chart is looking terrible. The monthly chart is really nothing to talk about positively. And this daily chart had a real nice bounce going from the 1.11. It went all the way to the 1.32, I think it was. 1.32, uh, yep, 1.132. And uh, now it's down to 1.123. Not good action at all. Yet another arch formation. Remember what we were talking about here? Let me draw, show you the pattern that we're looking at. This pattern says a break underneath the low of 100 and right here. The low that was made on the 2nd of April at 1.118 would produce this particular pattern. If it breaks and closes under it decisively, look at that H. That's the lowercase H pattern. The dollar's doing the exact opposite. All right. Oh, we've got a break. Wow. Um, all right. So there it is. I, I'm missing something here. There were three things that I, oh, interest rates. So the TLT, I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Dow's up 107. Very interesting session. Be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I had a question from one of our Chapman Waivers in the den who does great work on the Chapman Wave and his notation I always respect because offers sometimes an alternate look at what I've got as an alternate count. I, I, I looked at this at some point the reason why I chose the peak of 2016.88 on the 4th of March as a top, if you look at the MACD and stochastic, everything came down beautifully, and the low that was made on the 11th, uh, on the 8th, that was a significant low. But then there was a retest with the MACD lower and the stochastic higher. So I could give it an alternate count, and that would have been um, A, B, G slash C here. Complete the gene, you start a brand new A, B, C, D, and now we're in leg E, possibly a peak E. That kind of coincides with, look, let's just do this now, look the Dow uh, in a G slash C, maybe a G. Um, you could even start the same thing, A, B, C, uh, D, E. Either way, we're getting to some kind of lettering top. So I'm going to do a little more work on that. I, I was kind of satisfied with what I had. I'm going to give this alternate count. Uh, I, I want to put it in relation to the methodology itself. I don't want to just do it because it fits. But once the MACD and stochastic come down sharply, and then you start a brand new move, I tend to think that that has to be respected. But at the same time, you had a C, and I wanted to give it the alternate count of G slash C. So we got the instant restart. That kind of fitted everything we're looking at very nicely here. Either way, um, the MACD is only just cross-negative. Stochastic cross-negative, but still 90%, which is strong. I think there's enough strength here to respect it and think that we should go a little higher. So we're kind of in the same camp, just slightly different wave count. Uh, now let me go back. I was talking about three things. So I see it, it was the dollar, the euro, which was looking very poor. I'm going to just add, a, as a currency thing, the USDJPY, which went to that leg D. Uh, yesterday, oops, sorry, uh, D in the weekly, I should have said. There it is. But it's only in a C in the uh, daily chart. It looks to me like you can go a tad higher. Just above yesterday's, I have 112.17. Today's at 111.96. So the, everything's fitting together. The missing link was the TLT. So the idea here is that there's a trough D that's being formed in the TLT long side of the bonds, and the short side is the 
Where did that go? Is the TBT. And the TBT um, is forming a peak D right now with the MACD still strong and the stochastic um, at 94%. So my suspicion is that there's still residual strength in the uh, TBT, meaning residual weakness in the TLT, meaning that the TNX, TNX dot X, that's not uh, what you call it, um, uh, Texas Instruments uh, symbol. No, this is, in fact, the TNX, which is the 10-year Treasury note yield. Go on to a D right here. MACD is still strong. Stochastics at 92%. Nothing to see here, folks. I don't see a, a peak D top. I see it holding very well. And the weekly chart is testing. It had tested yesterday the 14 period moving average. MACD is trying to turn up. Stochastics are running to the 30% level. So far, it's just showing that there's still residual strength in the uh, interest rate sector, uh, in, the, in the rate itself, right? Okay. So um, next thing I want to look at was crude oil. Remember I said stuck in the trading range when I was on with Tommy yesterday. Look at this. Talk about And I said a trading range can last a lot longer than your patience. It can go on for many bars. I don't mean three or four or five. It can go on for 10, 12 even. So we might see all of next week with it, it's stuck in this range unless there's a sudden spiral up. And that says you take out the high that was made. <clears throat> At 94.90, so you could go to where I've got the trend line, 94. Yeah, let's say 94.20 to 94. 90, sorry, 65.20 to 65.50 area, and on the downside, I can see good support at 63 to 62.90. I think we're just stuck in this range for now. And why? Because this magnet of the 200 period moving average in the weekly at 65.80 is just so strong. If you go for a second week, try to tag it, and you hold near it, That's it, the longer you stay there, the longer it acts as a magnet. Even if you go above, you should be coming back in. So I think rates are just kind of stuck there uh, for the moment, doing nothing. Uh, let's talk about, um, I've done almost everything I wanted to do. Okay, here we go. Let me just get my uh, opening call newsletter out here. And my trader's corner and number 16 in this case, I have bullet points, uh, at least 15, 16, 17, sometimes more. Um, and we have more positions than I ever like to have. It's just, it's, I was asked if I would do that, spend a little more time on the actual positions rather than just keep doing the uh, um, analysis of the market. After all, when you've done an analysis once, they all do the kind of the same thing. So I, I'm trying to get rid of that and give you more opportunity for, for stocks. But look at this. Um, Within the context of the XLF, XLF is holding quite nicely here. It is up again. It's making a leg C. It hasn't gone, it hasn't extended that leg C. If it goes above, let me just type a C in right here. We're in a buy mode. We have a bank stock which is doing really well. Um, even when it was downgraded yesterday, it bounced back. 2746 was the XLF, the SP Financial ETF. Uh, high yesterday, the 27.46. Today is 27.45. If it touches 27.46, it just increases the fact that that's a leg C, and we should still make a peak C, extends the whole thing for a day. MACD is good. Stochastics, 93. I love this chart. Look at the weekly chart. Very nice peak A, peak B. And I want this leg C to extend high. I don't want it to stop here because if it stops here, it says, hey, you've got some time to go. It might not be so much points, but you're going to be wasting time going sideways. Um, I, I'd like, prefer not to see this. Let's have a look at Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is up, oh, sorry, it's down, minus two today. Had a big move to the peak D, right above the 200 period moving average. Look how it's hugging that when it didn't even know there was a 200 period moving average uh, all the time since it broke out. Oh, look at this, how it couldn't even break above it. Look how many times since it broke down back in August of last year. In the 245 area, look at this. Every time it tried to break above this orange line, that's how important these moving averages are. It just tells you an incredible story that there wasn't enough strength. And all this time, it got to it. It couldn't break above it, couldn't close above it. And then it just smashed down in that bad uh, November, the 9th, the star on its way down from the two, 230s. 
It goes down to 151.70 on the 26th of December. Rallies to a peak D. Remember, Chapman Wave, we're always looking for those Ds. And then what does it do? It makes a long rectangle. When I say rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience, have a look at this one that started back in the week of, no, the day of the 18th of January with a high of 203 round number and a low on the 8th of February at 188.22. And look how long it's been in this range. Can a rectangle formation last a lot longer than your patients? You betcha. So we made that peak D strike. Finally, you touched the 200 period moving average. Not only did you touch it, you gapped over it. You pulled back to the 14 period moving average. You went yesterday over it again, and now you're under it. That's how important these things are. You can ignore them, but ignore them at your peril. <laughs> Let's have a look at uh, pins. Pins is trading at 24. This is pin interest. Uh, it came out, came public. I'll talk about it when we get back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Ah, uh, yes, just uh, the e mini. I, did I show this? I think I was showing it, and I thought I'd shown it, but my chart wasn't uh, displayed uh, on, uh, on TFNN. So here we are. So look, the e mini is at 2.2908. If by the end of the day there's a sudden downturn, E mini goes underneath the low of 2896. You never know around here. I don't think that'll happen. But if it does that, that's going to be very negative. I think this is so far holding very well. I'm impressed. So, pin interest, pin interest, pins is a symbol, came public. 
uh, this morning at about uh, just 11-something. Uh, and it's trying to rally and trying to rally, but in fact, it's just made a double top formation in the two-minute chart, and it's about to do another dreaded H uh, test. Whew, this is not so good. And the other one, which is ZM, the symbol P-I-N-S, is pin interest. And now they've switched places. Isn't this interesting? Uh, Zoom Video Communications, I didn't even know what it was. I just knew the letter. Uh, ZM uh, was in place. Uh, it's gone to a leg C. It was acting terribly. It came out at about 66. Round number. I love round numbers. Opens at 65, goes to 66 round numbers. Always happens, almost always happens with these IPOs. Pulls back very sharply, uh, sharply because it went down 10% to 60.32. And then what does it do? It tries to raise back up at 64.58. All of a sudden, this has got a leadership role out of the two uh, players today. It's still early because the one came out much earlier than the other. And now you've got this rectangle formation says you could have an inside Chapman wave rally of a, of a leg D that's in a C right now. And that should go to just under, right on, or just over the, the previous peak of importance. That's its all-time. It's, it's all-time high. You know, as a public company of 66 made um, <clears throat> some hour ago. And... Uh, now it's looking like it could try to test that. So it's improved a lot. Let's just go back to old pins and see if it broke that key support level. Yep, there it is, testing the 200 pre-moving average. People always say to me, how on earth can you do all this stuff when you, you haven't got, there's no, you've hardly got any, you've got no back information, historic information, because it's an IPO. I look at the Chapman wave count. I look at the, the, the waveform. Look at this. You see that H, lowercase h. You see the Y? Look at this. Where's the H? Right here. Straight up. Makes a cup formation. Does a double top. What's the rule of the Chapman wave drop bucket formation? The double top formation is that if the MACD is fading and the stochastic's fading, as it gets to that level, be careful because it pulls back one third to one half of the distance of the left side lip to the base. There's a real good chance it's going to test the left side low. If it takes out the left side low, be careful because it could then go to either a trough of importance or it could be a double to the downside. That would take it somewhere to a new low around about 2290. Um, we'll see. Anyway, you see, these are the patterns. So there's the Y. There was the, the cup formation, the left side Y, and the breakdown. And what do you have? And now you have yet another arch formation. Look, arch, and it took a little longer, but it's still an arch. Look right there. I love these patterns. Just oh, market maker is made up of three patterns: straight up, straight down. Look, straight up, or it could come straight down, or cup, or arch formation. And it could be V's, but they're exactly the same thing. You're going from one point down back to that same point. That's the big test. Or you're coming from one point up to the same point. That's the big test. You close below it. Two out of three bars. Below the left side, low of importance means that you're probably going to go a little bit lower. Okay, enough with that. Let's get to our nitty gritties. I was going to show you something. So there's Goldman. Um, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Okay, now look at this. Um, I mentioned this morning, I said the whole tech sector is getting me a little bit worried here. So let's just go through these things. You've got the, um, what did I call that again? All day, I've just been forgetting. It must be it must be a, a, a block I've got here. The XLK, XLK has a spectacular move. I said it's getting a little bit toppy here, but we're going to do nothing. We just want to watch it. We aren't in it. We should be in it, but we're not. Um, leg D is extended for the, look at this. It starts a leg one penny over 76.26. So it's going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars with consecutively higher highs. And I love this formation. It is a formation that constantly says, wow, there's no strength here. There's nothing. Look, it's just this tiny little baby, lots of little doji candles. You know what? This is one of the most powerful patterns. Whoa, what was the stock that I was looking at yesterday? I said, I, I put it down. I made a note of it. Let me just see if I can get it. Uh, because it was a note of a pattern that I think is really worth looking at. Uh, I'm going to look at... Oh, no. I did write it down somewhere, and then I forgot where I put it. Oh, 
am I supposed to read that? How do you read that? Um, whew, sometimes my handwriting, when I'm doing these things very quickly, oh, no. Anyway, we'll run through these. I'm sure it's going to be one of these. So, yeah, oh, G, G, G. One, two, three. Look at this pattern. It just continuously goes up. Um, one of my desks uh, has a little slope to it because it's a, a design drawing desk and everything slides off it. Um, so look at this. Straight up. Look at that leg E goes one from the time it broke above that D. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bars going from the 49 area to the 52 area. And then it pulls back little doji candles and it's still going higher. This is Graco Inc. This is really part of the infrastructure. I guess infrastructure really has started. Look at this. It's broken out to an all-time high at 52.95. One of my favorites that I've never owned, a couple of those that I always talk about, never get them. Just they, they get away from you, and then you forget. By the time you look again, they've gotten away. This is a, a TMO is one of those. Uh, this is So this is a GGG trading at 52.93. New uh, uh, <laughs> reversal today. Um, all-time high three days ago. And it's, it's so close to the all-time high. <clears throat> Look at this. When they finally do break down, they usually break down like this. It starts off slowly, and then it accelerates down. And that's what you saw in TMO, one of my favorites, Thermo Fisher Scientific, metal equipment. I hope it comes back on my list, because I think no matter how I count it, this is only a leg B, peak B now, this week. In the, month, in the weekly chart, all-time highs. This is a beautiful, uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific. Man. They've always done everything right. When they take over, they take over, and they have incremental uh, profits from the new takeover almost immediately. Um, okay, so that's TMO. But uh, this is what I wanted to show you. Um, Hack. Hack is uh, in the security. This is the prime cybersecurity ETF. Finally makes a peak D at 41.45. Weekly chart breaks out to new high, beautiful legs. C. Uh, I, I have to call this... I don't think this is... Uh, a C. I think this is a brand new A. I better be conservative and say that maybe it's a C, but I think it's an A in the monthly. That is incredible. This is an incredible stock just from the low of 50 of 30, 31 in the in the December low, having gone from 40 down to 31. Um, it rallies back to an all time high and goes to 41. 10 points? This is incredible action. Uh, let's go to, uh, as we're about to go, look at look at team. This is uh, uh, Atlassian, Quick Cap Corporation. All-time high, just five days ago, 117. Now it's down to 101. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger to Nish Dow's up 105. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently 
currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Hi, folks. I want to. I want to take. I hope you don't get giddy with this, but I'm just going to run these down and tell you why. I'm just a little cautious right here. Look, here's a stock that's been unbelievable. Just from December, it goes from the 170-ish area to 262, up almost $100. Market access holdings. One of my favorites that I never followed up. A favorite when I read about it early on, I liked it. I think we might have had. I didn't find it. I, I probably have to just check a little closer. I think we had it very briefly, and then we were out of it. Uh, I know someone who had it. I don't know if they've still got it, but it, it pulled back really sharply. I mean, that, that was a that was a for it. It was a, a big pullback uh, going to the December low. However, it's gone. It's spectacular. I'm not sure what they do, but it's a fantastic stock. I remember reading about it, and saying this is very impressive. This is exactly the area that I like. And here it is. Yesterday makes an all-time high. Of, of 264.91 today the high is 263.95 i'm i'm looking at this and i'm saying okay you could pull back a little bit here it's a leg d in the weekly chart leg d in the monthly chart i'm just impressed at the way it's been how on earth do you get into something like that well the only way is to say look i'm going to start a little nibble here 262 it's just way too high but I want to be in it in case it goes to the two, uh, 265, 268 area, just to get a sense of what it's doing. But I really would like to buy it somewhere in the, between 250 and 240. That's really an ideal area to say, you've had your time out. Nothing seems to have changed in your uh, department and wh whatever you're doing, and see, uh, assess it then. And but in the meantime, look, this is a, this is a great chart, but it looks a little uh, a little over overbought right now. Um, team, uh, we did team. I wanted to do TTD TDD. This is the this is the uh, Trade Desk Inc. A shares TTD. Also had this very briefly, and then it just skyrocketed. Now it's going to this H pattern, goes to a lowercase M. Hasn't broken down yet. But it seems to me it just needs a timeout. This long candle bar with a low of 178 says trading at 198 right now with an all time high of 214.70. I think you could take a little timeout. So there are a lot of stocks that seem to be in an area that so far hasn't been hit. Um, maybe this is it. You remember CRM, Salesforce.com? Uh, this is another stock closer to its all time highs, um, all time high of. Did I, I forgot to put that in. Of 167, 166.99, I remember now, I just missed it. 166.99 back in March, and it's trading at 155. No big deal, but it's making that H pattern that says, look, with a rectangle, this should test the 150 area at some point soon. So I'm saying, yes, there's no reason why you, 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 you shouldn't be impatient. Have patience. You know, if you miss these things, you miss them. There are other ones. But let's face it, Etsy, another great star. Look at this, makes an all-time high a few weeks ago in the 94 area, 
on the 1st of March, week of the 1st of March. Now it's at 63. Still looks like it's got a little more consolidation. Probably has to fill in this entire candle of the 1st of March, 73.33 high, 55.86 low. That, this is the way I'm looking at the market. Have patience. There are going to be some fantastic buys. IYR was an absolute stellar winner right up until four days ago. Gets to an all-time high of 88, I think just over 88. 88.23 on the 15th of April. It's trading right now at 85, having hit a double bottom low of 84.80 yesterday, 84.80 today. A little bit of a bounce, maybe makes an H pattern, does a retest. But the weekly chart says, keep your eye on this. Monthly chart says, this has to be a leg B. There's no other way to count it. And uh, that's impressive. So that's the U.S. REITs index. Uh, this is uh, Dow Jones U.S. REITs index trust. Has a whole bunch of the uh, REITs in it, SBG, AMT, CCI, PCA, a whole bunch of that. Um, next thing I want to look at here, this is just to get a sense of where we are. Uh, the SMHs. Yeah, question about the SMHs. SMHs, let me just check here. Uh, one of my big emailers must be on holiday today. He always gives me some fabulous uh, things to look at. He mentioned the Bugatti yesterday, a lot of stuff. Oh, and thank you to one of our dinners who sent me the whole thing on the Hudson Yards. I'll be sending it off to subscribers this weekend. Um, yes, it's not just a, a very unusual. People call it ugly. I haven't seen it, so I can't really say it looks very unusual. And the quality, they say, is not very good at all. That whole Hudson Yards has been developed. I think by one developer or something. This is unbelievable. Um, yeah, so key, it, it, it's something that's part of this, this age. This is exactly what I look for. So thank you for sending me that. Um, that was Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. So I'm looking at the SMHs. Gaps up yesterday. Had a, a number of gaps, but the last gap up was yesterday. And it has an all-time high of 100. Did I update that? 115, 118.83. God, I'm moving so quickly. 118.83. Now, you heard uh, Taiwan Semiconductor says, no, nothing seems to have changed for us. We're still having some difficulties here. I'm suspecting that all those people that have been telling me, it's not just one person, it's a couple of people now, and what I've read, that the orders are still not coming in. Maybe they're starting to improve a little bit, but they're really not coming in to what the semiconductor index is, is indicating. My suspicion is that there's going to be a peak C either this week with no new high next week. And that's going to be tough to do because we're within a point of that high of yesterday. So within two weeks, I think we make that peak C. And then I think we're in for a bit of a timeout. But the way that the monthly chart has spiraled from 80 to a high of 118, 30, over 30 points in four months. One, two, three, four, five months. Five months. Well, really, it's four months because it was the very end of December. Is spectacular. And something has to give, uh, uh, filter down and get it back to the median. I don't know where the median would be. I suspect that there will be a pullback. And then you'll start to hear that the... Um, that the orders are coming in. Okay, that's the SM SMHs. My suspicion is if I have to extrapolate and take the data here, I think the 123 to 125 area will be where we get a peak D, and that's going to be very important for the general market. I don't know when at this particular point, but my suspicion is that'll happen within, uh, within maybe two months or so. Um, okay. And the, get, the key support, I think, at this point is in the 112 to 108 area. That's a bit of, that's quite a pullback. Why? It takes you back to two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. No. Next thing I want to look at here is uh, I'm looking at XLE is what I was asked about. What about the XLE? Well, the XLE has made a peak D in the, week, in the daily chart. A leg E is obviously going to be a peak E because I can't see today going from 67.27 to 68 point, whatever that high was, just the other day. 68.40. Just not going to happen between now and the close? No. So at this particular stage, we're looking at it, and I'm, I'm suggesting that um, – there's going to be some kind of a consolidation, but at any point in the next two weeks, if the XLD trading at 67.27 trades even one pip 
into the 6913 area. That's 70 to 70.09 200 period exponential moving average in the weekly will become a magnet. And that's my 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 gut feeling says that's going to probably happen over the coming weeks. We've got one more segment to go. And before I forget, just in case I run out of time, Happy New Year. Uh, happy New Year. Happy Easter and a happy Passover to those celebrating. I'm certain this long you week. are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Don't forget Steve comes up next, and then you got Dave White. I'll be doing the Tom O'Brien. Tom is still away, and I'll be doing the Tom O'Brien Show, 3 o'clock to 4. Check out my opening calls, my daily newsletter. You get my archive. I'm still really proud of the, the, of the uh, webinar I did uh, three weeks ago. I spent a lot of time on it. I've been over it a few times. I've actually presented a chunk of it in the interim period, and I still feel very comfortable about the prognostications there. I, I really took a lot of time. Um, just, you know, we are still uh, just, I, I have no idea anybody knows how, what we do here. If you don't say what you've got, we're still along the IYT from the 186 area. It's up at 197 right now, up uh, over 10 points. Uh, we're still along Bank of America. I think it was in the... Uh, uh, 20, uh, let me just double check, don't want to talk out of turn. Oh, yeah, Bank of America, we were still long from uh, the last long that we had. We took profits in the previous one. Latest one is in the 24s. It's up in the 30 area right now. Um, there are a whole bunch of things. We just took uh, some new positions the other day. I don't want to talk out of turn, but uh, they are doing very nicely. Let me just double check. Yep, yep, yep. One is doing, uh, yeah, very nice. And uh, we, we are along the broker dealers, spoke about that in my webinar. Uh, 
they're up there at 63 level. Leg D could be pulling back, but it's a leg C in the V-shaped pattern in the weekly chart. So I've spent a lot of time spending a little more time to spend a little more time on the actual picks for 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 subscribers so they can have a much bigger selection. All prices, whether in the hundreds, two hundreds, three doesn't matter, or in the uh, twos and threes dollar area, five dollar area. Uh, I have no problem with that. Um, in looking at the uh, as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to look at, I uh, just wanted to get this right here to check something. Um, yeah, uh, so it's so the very low price ones that we've got are actually holding very nicely. I just wanted to make sure that each one is. Yeah, one is up from the $7.50 $7 level that we bought it at. It's up at eight ten. That's a really nice position. Look, up 3% today. Um, just I'd be, I'm trying to cover a whole smorgasbord of ideas, prices, and areas, and that's really important. So check out my opening call over the weekend, and you will get my a couple of webinars thrown in for free. Hey, I'll be back at uh, 3 o'clock to do the Tom O'Brien Show. Stay tuned for Steve and Dave, and check out my opening call. Otherwise, have a wonderful weekend. Happy Easter. Happy Christmas.